Hello dear traders, I am Rusov Popov, the author of Forex Strategy Builder Professional. In that video, I will show you how to work with strategy slots. Let's open a new strategy. The strategy consists of several parts. These records here are for the profile. The profile is responsible for the account settings. This here is the data source. The data source stores the historical data folder and symbol settings. Here is the symbol and the data period for the backtest. Next we have a description. The description is empty for a, a new strategy, but uh, you can find several demo strategies together with the program. For example, let's open that one. Okay. You can see that description, it explains how the strategy works. You can use descriptions to write your own notes. Later, we have uh, strategy properties. This is the first tile here. And when you click it, it opens the strategy properties uh, settings panel. And here below is uh, the logic of the strategy. This is the strategy slots. The first tile here is uh, named opening point of the position. When you click it, you see the indicators properties panel and here you see the name of the slot. It is opening point of the position. Also, when you position the mouse marker over the slot, you see it, uh, at the right side this pop-up uh, panel that also shows the name of the slot, opening point of the position. Here below is the opening logic conditions. We can have several opening logic condition slots, but uh, when you open a new strategy, we don't have one. Below that button at opening logic condition is the closing point of the position slot. And below it are the uh, closing logic conditions. Uh, actually, the strategy slots are four types. We can have strategies only with two because this only the opening point of the position slot and the closing point of the position slot are mandatory. We can add additional logical conditions as you want and uh, opening logic conditions and closing logic conditions. What is the purpose of these uh, slots? We have uh, three slots for that strategy, but I will change it a little bit. I will set also here MACD with logic rule MACD crosses the zero line downward. Okay, this strategy has the all four types of slots. Let's see the purpose of the slots. The, the first group of slots above the button are responsible for the entry rules. This, uh, these slots, these indicators determine the, the opening of a position and also adding, if, if we have adding. That, that, that group here is for closing. If you see, this, uh, the first group is covered in uh, uh, greenish colors. That's because uh, they are for opening of a long position. And that group here is in reddish and brownish colors because they are for closing long, actually for setting. And here is uh, one very simple rule. We always uh, set here the rules for opening of a long position. And the program for a strategy builder automatically creates the rules for opening of a short position. The, root, the rules are symmetrical but mirrored. I'll show you in a moment. Let's see what we have here. We have bar opening. This is uh, set in the opening point of the position. And one opening logic condition. Also we have a bar closing set in the closing point of the position. Bar closing is an indicator. And we have one indicator uh, in that uh, slot here. Closing logic condition. The indicator is MACD. The first slot 
opening point of the position is responsible for the entry price and the opening closing conditions are the entry filters. For example, you can, uh, you can think for that slot as open a long position at that one when these here are satisfied and close a long position at that price here when this condition are satisfied. For that strategy what we have? Open at bar opening when MACD line crosses the zero line upward and close a long position at bar closing when MACD line crosses the zero line downward. We we'll have a separate videos for each uh, for each kind of slot. If you open the documentation, this is our website. You can find the user guide here in Wiki. User guide, and I speak about uh, these articles here. This video you are watching at the moment is uh, under that article indicator slots. But I will make separate videos for these four kinds of slots. Opening point of the position, opening closing conditions, closing point of the position, closing closing conditions. And also you can find another videos in the other articles. Let's uh, see for example how that strategy works. Uh, what I'm going to do is to, to make a screenshot uh, from the strategy like that. Let's, let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay. And I'll go to indicator chart to see what we have here. Now we have this is the price chart and these are our two indicators. Why we have uh, two indicators? If we see the, the strategy we have a bar opening, this is the entry point, the opening point of the position, but bar opening is uh, plotted here in the in the price chart, it is not, uh, it uh, has not a separate line, it is uh, simply the beginning of a bar. We have MACD indicator for entry, MACD with logic rule, MACD line crosses the zero line upward, that line indicator. We have bar closing, which is also plotted in the price chart. This is actually the end of each bar. And the fourth indicator is MACD. With the logic rule, MACD line crosses the zero line downward. That one indicator. So how that work? Let's find a place where we open long position. This is too... Okay. Let's see that one. I'll zoom in a little bit. Like that. Opening uh, point of the position indicators set the opening price. When that in our case we have a bar opening indicator. That means a long position, because we set the uh, rules only for long positions. A long position will open at bar opening. But every bar opens, but we we enter wrong position only here. Why? Because this condition must be satisfied. So we have open a uh, long position at bar opening when MACD line crosses the zero line upward. And if we see the indicator MACD, the MACD line is that uh, blue line. When the blue line crosses upward, zero line upward, that is the zero line. So when the the MSD line was negative and became positive, we open long position at the beginning of the bar. And what we do next, we keep that position because now at the moment we don't have adding. So we keep that position until it is closed. But when to close that position, you will close the position at bar closing. Okay, at bar closing, but every bar closes. So if it, if it was only that bar closing, it would close the position here at that bar or here. 
but we have a causing cause condition. So it says uh, a cause a long position at bar causing when MACD line crosses the zero line downward. So this uh, condition here, this uh, causing cause conditions, gives permission for closing. And uh, will close when the MACD line crosses the zero line downward. So this is the zero, uh, the MACD line, actually that one. And when that one goes below the zero, we will close our long position. So when the indicator goes up, we open long. And when the indicator crosses below the zero, we will close the long position. But as I said to you, we set rules for long positions only. The program makes the, the opposite rules automatically for the short positions. And what we have? Let's uh, read it in the, the mirrored way. Open short position and bar opening. Because bar opening is same for long and for short. We have only one bar opening. Open short position and bar opening when MACD line crosses the zero line downwards from up to down for short entry. Let's find here a short entry. Let's take that one. We enter short when uh, at a bar opening when MACD line crosses the zero line downward. The opposite rule, the mirror rule here. The MACD line crosses below the zero and mm, close a short position at bar closing when MACD line crosses the zero line upward. The mirror rule. What we have on the chart? Our position is close here, but we MSD line is not crossing the zero line. Why is that? It is because we have here stop loss 100 pips. Let's remove that. I go to editor and remove the stop loss. Okay, and let's return again to the indicator chart. And now we have truly reversible strategy without stop loss. It, it will change the direction of the position every time when MSD line crosses the zero line up, when the line crosses the zero line from below the zero line to above, we open long position. And when it crosses the zero line in the downward direction, we will close the long position and we open short position. When the, the line crosses below the zero, we will close the long position. And we open short. Why? Because the rule for the short position will be satisfied. So this is on the introduction of the indicator slots. And I will end that video. Please watch the other videos for the different slots. I will go in greater details there. Thank you for watching that video. Please, if you like it, subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Bye bye.